Still near lifetime highs. This, as some big billionaires are now starting to bet against the stock, Martin, our guy, our money guy, Scott Martin, on if investors should follow suit. Scott, what do you make of that? You've got some well-known uh, multi-billionaires who have made a lot of money, particularly to the downside. Uh, they continue to bet big against this market. So far, it's been tough uh, for Soros, to be honest with you, Charles. You know, he's doubled down, I guess, on his short position that he started earlier this year, which has not worked out. The market has rallied in his face up to this point. And don't forget, I mean, Soros comes in with a lot of money. I mean, he's one of the richest guys in the world, and therefore he can take pain like he's had in there because his long-term goal, Charles, of maybe like you and Peter were just talking about, maybe a higher interest rate environment, maybe a slow economic situation both here and globally pertains to the fact that, yes, we could see lower equity prices in the future, even if he has to take some short-term pain. You know, uh, he began uh, in, in 2014 though, with the $2 billion bet that he's built on. Back then, he said it was because of the Chinese economy. I think the main thing that the audience should know, Scott, and help me out here, is that billionaires can be wrong a lot longer than you and I could be wrong. They have a lot more staying power. Uh, you know, the old joke about the markets being irrational longer than thou can stay solvent, I think, pertains a little bit more, uh, pertain, at, least, at least a little bit more favorably, let's say, to the billionaires who have the cash to burn. And don't forget, he's got other investments elsewhere that could come into play. Now, he's had a really great history, especially with currency, Charles. You know, back in uh, the mm -hmm. early 90s, smashing the British pound, and then later in the 90s, hitting hard the Thai bot in the Asian currency crisis. So maybe don't exactly take Take Soros' advice on equities, maybe stick to his currency plays. You know, I, I love that you said that. And also, when he sells all of his stocks, for me, maybe that would be the red flag because he does own quite a few uh, long positions, too. Yeah, he does. And those are the things to keep in mind. I think as an individual investor, when you're looking at your portfolio, there can be these short-term movements. There can be pullbacks. I mean, August and September are traditionally rough months for the stock market. But longer term, tried and true companies that are seeing great cash flow and good demand for their products are things you should hold in your portfolio for the long term. All right. Thank you very much, Scott. We really appreciate it, buddy. See you, Charles. Hey, I got breaking news.